In this video I'm going to be talking about pretty much what you can see in front of me and that is the DJI Ronin S. Now mine arrived on Tuesday, I've waited for it pretty much from day one on original launch and I've had a few days to play with it and I'm not going to really be doing an unboxing or anything like that. In this video I just want to talk about balancing and I'm going to explain a few things as well as share with you my settings that I have for the GH5 because I have seen some pitfalls and some things some guys have missed. So I want to share my settings with you as well as take you through the very basic principles of balancing so you guys can get your camera set up and ready to go. The first thing you need to take into account is when you balance it you must do it with everything on board that you're going to be filming with and that includes removing your lens cap first because any changes in weight will affect how the gimbal performs and that also means your data cable needs to be connected as well because even that and even just the strap around it can make a massive difference. The first thing you want to do is balance it with your camera on the plate. Now when you look at mine you'll notice the camera sits just above the unlock word and that's pretty much the ideal spot for it on the GH5. They also recommend that you have the camera as tight to the motor on this side as you possibly can. However if you are using a GH5 like me you do have this ring at the top for the strap and it stops you going too tight because if you do you can't actually take the camera off because the plate slides forward and it hits the mount. So you do need to make sure you leave yourself a little bit of space but if you're not using a camera with this on the side that prevents it coming off you would push it as tight to this motor on this side here as you possibly can. Once you've done that you want to balance it in the forward position and make sure it sits nice and level when you let it go. When you've got it in that position you know your base plate is pretty much perfect. The next thing you need to do then is balance the side motor which is this one here and to do this you would simply point your camera straight up and it should stay in the same position. Now you will notice it moved a little bit there and the reason is the magnets do have a little bit of swing in them on the Ronin S motors, so it's something I've noticed. So what you will find is there are a few positions where it might move a few mil either side and settle. That is perfectly fine, it's just the magnets in the motor pulling it one way or another. But to make sure this position is balanced correctly you want to put your camera pointing straight up in the air and make sure it stays there. If it doesn't stay there and it tips forwards you need to adjust this arm to bring it backwards or if it tips backwards you need to adjust this arm to tip it forwards. Forward. and once you've got that right the camera should sit wherever you put it no matter the position and once you've got that you know you've got the base plate and the side arm balanced. Once you've done that one the next one you need to do is the motor on the back which is the roll motor. Again you would adjust it until the camera stays in whatever position you leave it and as you can see I'm rotating it over and there's very little movement. It's got a touch at times with the magnets on the motors are pulling it but overall no matter where I put it, so if I pop the camera like that, pop it like that, pop it like that, pop it like that you can see it stays no matter the position I put it into. And again, if you were to put it there and it fell, it would mean that it's slung too much that way. And if it went that way, it means it needs pulling back that way. So you start with the plate, this motor, then this one here. The final thing you need to balance is the bottom, your motor. Now you can't do this when it's up like this. The trick is to place the gimbal on its side, point the camera and it will show you if this is correctly balanced or not. So to do this you would get it to where you think you need it, pop it on the side, flip it up so your camera points forward with the motor on the top and just hold it there like that and when it is perfectly balanced it should stay in the position you leave it just like it has for me there. If it's not weighted properly and it pulls up like that it means that it's pointing too far back and if it then pulls forward it means that there's not enough weight at the back so you need to bring the motor a little bit further out. But that is the way you check you have the back gimbal mount mounted properly and you simply hold it like that and you will see that it doesn't rise or fall in any direction no matter which way 
you point the camera. Now it isn't easy to hold this because it is very heavy, especially with one hand, but when you do do it, you can see that no matter what I do with the camera, I leave it go, it stays in place and it remains balanced. Just to give you guys a base to go from with the GH5, my settings are as follows. The camera on the base plate sits just above the U on unlock and that is level with the front corner on the camera itself and that means the base plate is then showing at about 1.6 at the front. Looking across the bottom, pushing the camera towards the side motor, I'm on about 6.5. And as I've said, I had to leave a little space down that side, otherwise I'm not able to remove the camera off the Ronin S itself. The pitch motor I have set to basically three, and this is the point on my J5 where it seems to balance absolutely perfectly, as long as you've got that base plate in that same position. Moving around to the tilt motor, for me that is set basically at 5 and finally the bottom yaw motor is also set to 5 as well. So those are the main settings that I've got for the Ronin S when using it with the GH5. So it means if you are trying to set it up quickly you can do that and then tweak it and hopefully that will get you guys in the best possible position. As I said, I've been using it for a few days and overall I'm really impressed with it so far. I'm going to be doing a whole host of videos around some other features, so please do go check them out, including using it with a wireless receiver as well. Please do subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed the content of this video, as well as use the links that are in the description for the video as well. If you would like to support the channel, they are there and they do help me keep the channel moving forward. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe and I'll do another one again soon.